All right, for this exercise, we're going to be doing three different types of double stitch seams. Um, so I have my three, three pairs of three and a half by six inch fabric here, all ready to go lie, lying out in front of me. And what we do is you create three separate plain seams um, using our straight stitch at two and a half inch length. Um, and typically what we do is we would then go and press the seam open, but we are not going to do that today. So um, the first thing that you do is you're going to match up those fabric pieces so the right sides are together. Um, you're going to line up the side of your fabric with the 5 8 inch seam allowance markings on your throat plate. I'm going to uh, lower my needle and presser foot. I'm going to do back stitching at the top and on the bottom. So there's one. I'm going to go ahead and trim those threads. I'm going to repeat this process three times. Back stitching at the bottom. I'm trimming that one, and then we have one more. So I have all three of these double stitch seams prepped and ready to go. Um, make sure that before you start by do, start doing your second row of stitching that you trim the thread tails on both the top and the bottom. Alright, so the first one that we're going to do is we're going to do a, create a second row of stitching about an eighth of an inch away um, from that first stitch. Alright, so I'm going to line up I'm going to line up my, um, my fabric. So we're, what we were at is we did our first stitch and 5 8 inch seam allowance. So we're going to move it back to the 4 8 or the half inch mark. So I'm going to go ahead and lower my needle and my presser foot. And then what I'm doing is I'm just doing another set of stitching uh, right along the edge a quarter inch away and I'm matching up my, uh, my edge of my fabric to the 4 8 We did 5 8 first. We're moving the second row of stitching over 1 8 inch closer. Um, to the actual edge of the fabric. So again, I'm going to do some back stitching at the beginning of that seam, and then again at the end. All right, I'm going to trim those tails. All right, and this is uh, one of your samples here. This is a straight stitch. Um, it's a uh, double stitch seam using the straight stitch method and then what you're going to want to do is go back and then trim right along maybe about an eighth, eighth of an inch away from that second stitch line on the innermost edge. Alright and then you're just going to um, toss that scrap fabric away and then we're going to move on to our, um, our second stitch here. Um, the second double stitch that we're going to be doing is the zigzag. And so again, we're going to be um, working about an eighth, an eighth of an inch over from where we were before. So I'm going to line up my, a line of my fabric with the quarter inch line. I'm going to lower it. But then now what I'm going to do while that's being held in place is I'm going to go over to my zigzag. And I'm going to uh, move it all the way over to the very edge. So it's on the thick, the thick green zigzag line. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in the camera and then I'll have to move it back so you guys can actually see the line just to double check what your markings are. All right, as you can see, I'm on the thick zigzag line. All right, now let me go back to where we were. All right, hopefully that's set up pretty good. All right, so I have it set on that zigzag and I want to put my stitch length, so I want each of my zigzags to be closer together. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust that to about, um, about one and a quarter, one and a half on my stitch length markings. And I'm going to go ahead and lower my needle, and I'm not going to backstitch on this because 
Um, with these machines, I found that sometimes backstitching on the zigzag causes it to pull my fabric down into the bobbin case, and I don't want to ruin the machine, so I'm just not going to um, backstitch on the zigzag portion of this. All right, now I'm just I'm keeping this fabric lined right up with four eighths inch. to the end. I'm going to lift up that presser foot and come back and trim those threads. Alright, so this is what you should have here. I'm going to go ahead and flip it around so you can see the back side also. Zigzag on the top, zigzag on the bottom. I got two contrasting threads. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim my trim off the, the excess fabric there about an eighth of an inch away from that zigzag that I just created. Right, and then I'm going to just toss that fabric, the excess fabric aside and make sure that all my, my uh, thread tails have been trimmed off and I'm going to move on to um, my last sample here. So this is the third, third and final one out of this uh, series of three. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use a different type of stitch. And um, some of you may have selected this by accident when we were doing our straight stitching on the um, on the on the first day, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to our um, our selector knob and we're going to really crank it all the way to the edge, um, so that it's now kind of looking like a heartbeat. Um, it doesn't have the little bumps in between each heartbeat line, but it has the big heartbeat line. I'm going to go ahead and just move the camera over so you can see what I'm talking about real quick. All right, the heartbeat line. I just cranked it counterclock, wait, I think clockwise till I got to that heartbeat sign. And this is just a, a different type of, of kind of kind of like a zigzag almost, but this is called the, the over edge stitch. And so again, I'm going to just line up my fabric, um, run it right along uh, that 4 eighths inch marking. And I'm not going to back stitch on this either since it does have that zigzag this to it. So I'm just going to lower my needle and go at it. Running that fabric right along that 4 8 inch, inch seam allowance. Alright, when I get to the end of that stitching, I'm going to raise my needle, pull that thread out, and I left my, my stitch length where it was before, uh, about that one and a half, one and a quarter. And this is the type of stitching that you should have. It's kind of like, it does a, it's a combination of straight stitching and zigzag, and it kind of makes that little bit of a, a heartbeat almost. So this is your third sample. Um, again, you're going to want to go back and trim off that excess, the excess fabric um, from the, the stitching that you did um, to the actual raw fabric edge. And then when you're done, you can toss that aside, and um, those are your three samples of your double stitch seams. Um, what you're going to want to do is um, go over to the iron, and you know, just like all the samples that we've done, you're going to want to press um, press this just to have a final pressing on it. Now, since we have these double stitching, we really can't open up our our seam allowances like we have done before. But you you're just going to press um, press your seam allowances to one side, so. You're just going to press it to one side um, and then, you know, use some seam, steam to really set that and have it be a sharp edge. 